Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft here on the Nintendo Switch edition of Minecraft. Today we're inside the Mario's Mashup Pack world to show you guys five things that you might have missed, hidden uh, secrets uh, th throughout the world that you guys might not know about, even though you play on this world as much as I do. And what inspired this video is uh, someone in the crew actually showed me uh, something I've never seen, and I play on this world probably uh, more than anyone in, in the whole world uh, but anyway so I've been on this map so much and there's still hidden secrets I find all the time so today we're gonna find the most uh, top five interesting can't believe you missed it secrets about the Mario mesh pack so without further ado guys let's get right into the episode if you like this episode ideas and you want more top fives you can recommend them in the comment section below if you want like top five coolest Mario skins, anything like that, uh, recommend it in the comment section below. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, if we post new videos uh, every single day, two new videos. Uh, so make sure you do subscribe. If you could, guys, support the channel, smash that like button. It really does help us out a lot if you like the content at all. Let's try to give it 1,000 likes on this video, and I'll try to make another one. Uh, and guys, um, also, you, if you want to check out my Instagram, Twitter, uh, we do ex uh, exclusive live streams over there, polls, uh, behind the scenes type of stuff. So if you're want to links in the description also march merchandise is out now go check it out without further ado guys let's get right into us with number five number five the hidden bowser a lot of us know that the bowser portal is located under this giant giant bowser mouth very very clear but did you know there's actually another secret here if you go up on top of bowser's head and fly directly up you'll start to see something uh, quite familiar form in the water yes that is right that is bowser's face you're seeing uh, formed underneath the water uh, of the surface there's just one eye two eye you got the horns up there uh, it is a lot better to actually see at nighttime, uh, which a lot of these are. You don't want to get too far away, but there you could see it really well. Uh, Bowser is actually hidden uh, under the ground in this section. How cool is that? Number four, the hills are alive. If you walk around the Minecraft world enough, you could say that there's a little interesting, something interesting about the sort of landscape you could be walking on. Well, you might want to take a little fly up to the sky and look down because you might find a secret like this. That is right. The land actually forms here different kind of pipes, and one pipe even has a piranha plant coming out of it. This was all formed from the landscape. Now, there's a lot of things we recommend you guys go throughout the Mario world and look up because you can find other things hidden in the water uh, such as bricks or certain blocks uh, but this is one of the cooler things you can find right by the piranha plant right there in the pipe uh, you actually have the silhouette and you have pipes over there and pipes over there as well so do you guys know about this one let us know in the comment section below and let us know what else you guys found in the water because actually right up here if you come up a little bit further and you look down you'll see a question mark block uh, with two little um bricks as well and then over here uh, you can see there's a fire flower in the ground and on this side there is actually a toad uh head in the ground like a little power up in the ground so what else can you guys find in the world let us know in the comment section below but uh you might want to take a little aerial tour uh, of the above world to go check it out and see uh, what sort of secrets you are missing number three underground retro now there's a lot of these little stations underground the under the toad houses which you could jump on a mine cart and head to different areas but if you jump on this mine cart you might find something very very particularly uh strange about it there's actually this 3d old school retro sort of mario characters down here now this one is a little harder to find because this is not in the section that you would think it would be it is actually uh in between two uh little toad houses in the area which i'm about to show you right now so if you want to find it for yourself uh this is where it will be you have to go to the one right by yoshi's hut uh there is a greenhouse right here and if you go in it it will lead you to another greenhouse uh which is right here by the piranha plant where you're just at so if you go down i'll now show you it um more close up so you can actually uh, see what's actually down here all you have to do is take the little ride down you'll go and you'll find this 3d retro area obviously you can see the blue bricks in the wall uh you have a shell um, you have one of the uh, shell original, uh, I don't know what they're called, but uh, 
and enemies and then you have a goomba oh buzzy beetles thank you buzzy beetles and then you have a goomba so this is sort of like a cool little retro uh thing that you can sort of show off to your friends because not a lot of people uh, go down in these and, and use them to travel so that is one of the more uh hidden secrets do you guys know about this one let us know in the comment section below if you were uh, examine the world careful enough to uh, to see it but anyway guys let's go on to number two number two the space that never was in building the world like this you have to say that the teams at 4j had a lot of work to do planning it all out making the projects could be a very very time consuming and hard task so it's not surprising that some of their original plans got cancelled and I think that's what happened right here if you go right to the spawn area right side of the Super Mario big logo and the original spawn house and you dig directly down under the sand you might something find something a little bit peculiar a large dug out corridor perfect square corridor now clearly this was originally supposed to be used for something uh, that they were going to put down here whether it was going to be sort of a retro area or maybe sort of like a captain toads mining area or maybe a wario mine i don't really know but you guys can come up with your own theories down below but i don't know what this was going to be used for but clearly um this is just too bizarre to not be used for something probably a canceled project of some sort but nonetheless a very very cool piece of uh of history uh or not history a cool thing a little hidden tabloid uh here so if you guys want to make something else or you need a large area to do it this would be the area that you could actually do it in uh so yeah it is directly uh under uh, in between these two things right here. So if you want to go Mario sign uh, house, just dig right down uh, in this general vicinity of uh, vicinity, and basically uh, that is where you will find uh, the little thing. So now over to number one, the most surprising and unknown fact that I just found out today. Let's go over there. All right, number one, hidden in the water. Now, if you guys notice that behind Peach's castle, this is the one I found out today. Like, I literally just found this out and was the inspiration for this video. Peach's castle probably spent the most of my time recording here, but I did never realize a hidden fact hiding right behind it. Over here by this red pipe, looks like a normal area until you go down into the water and you start to notice something different. The eel that was actually from Super Mario 64 behind the castle is here as well. So you guys could actually come down and find this. I don't know. I didn't think I, if it took me this long to find it, I don't think you guys have found it either. But there's actually like this whole back station that someone clearly put the eel uh, from Super Mario uh, back here. So that was very, very cool. You guys could check it out. Um, it would actually honestly make a very cool episode. I think now I might make one down here just because of this little fact that we figured out. But guys, how cool is that? The eel from Super Mario uh, 64 is right here behind the castle, hidden from us all. Because guys, if you are just like don't have anything here, I will actually drink some else. Uh, and just just act totally normal you would never ever see it so let's just say you're right here I'm gonna drink this milk I'm just walking around whatever whatever like if you look in the water you could like barely see it like if I looked in the water I'd be like oh no don't see it all right keep going like I, I literally have never seen it and then in the daytime guys let's just check it out in the daytime daytime guys there's what you would never see that you would never see that so i think that is something that a lot of you guys missed but guys if you like today's top five, uh five video make sure to comment down below let us know if you want us to do more um if you guys want us to make other videos as well like this leave some suggestions uh, of what you want to see but guys if you did like it make sure to smash that like button down below if you're new to the channel make sure you do smash that big red subscribe button and we'll see you guys inside the next episode peace out guys bye